Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is about an auxiliary view in engineering drawing. So, what is an auxiliary view? If an object, suppose it is given like this. The inclined surface of an object which is not seen properly from the top view and front view. In such cases, there is a need of an auxiliary view. So, let us see one problem so that we can understand the detailed explanation of the auxiliary view. So, here is the question. Draw the auxiliary view of the sloping surface of the object as shown. To draw the auxiliary view of the given object, first we need to take the reference line x, x dash. So, auxiliary view draw jayadaniki manamu top view and front view ni first draw chase call sostundi. So, draw the top view first below the reference line. So, in top view we have two axes that is x axis and z axis that is length and breadth. So, length is given as 60. Why? Because 20, 10, 30. The sum of all these gives a 60 mm length and breadth is 30 mm. So, with the reference from the object, we need to draw all the top view projections. So, then again, the breadth is for 12 mm, then 10 mm along length and again join the other side that is 12 mm below and join the object. So this is the required top view of the given object. So now we need to project the lines towards the front view. So, in order to get the front view, manamu e lines and ni total length 60 ki line draw chase ko wali with the projections from the top view and then join the lines. We get like this in a triangular shape. Why? Because we have only one height and the other side we have zero height and do all the projections like this. So here is the front view we got. So extend the lines little more like this. So till here we get the top view and a front view with the projection lines. So in order to get the auxiliary view, we have to draw the auxiliary plane. This is an important plane to get the auxiliary view of the given object. So that must be exactly parallel to the slope of the given object. That is inclined surface of the given object. Now project all the points which is intersecting the auxiliary plane towards upwards. Like this. Perpendicular to the inclined auxiliary plane. After projecting all the lines, now draw the line baseline and also mark the top view points like A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So now take the compass, mark the points A and B, the length of A to B. Now what you do is with the baseline above the auxiliary plane, point the given length, other side also. From Z to H. C to D. On the exactly projected lines which are coinciding the 
reference lines e to f now join the points like this so while you drawing the views must be darker so highlight the exact top view front view and the auxiliary views in darker shades use h pencil for lighter lines and hb for darker lines every line must be parallel to each other now locate the points so the area which cannot be seen from front view or top view can be seen in the auxiliary plane hence it is the required auxiliary view of the given object and the procedure is same for all the auxiliary views thanks for watching